Amen. I'm going to step in for Sister Dominique. Today we have the lovely Morgan English that is going to be baptized today. She's one of ours, and it's just a blessing to see her give her life to Christ. Now, for those who don't know who Morgan is, the English family, that is their daughter, Sister Shirley English, and our first elder, of the Baldwin English Jr. And of course, their son is right next to them, Trey, who is towering over them. <laughs> almost, almost. Well, for those who would like to support Morgan, I know Sister English, you're sitting up front. Please come on up front, please come on up front. Her grandpa too, her grandpa. Antoinette is back there. You see, this is a family affair. When someone gives their life to God, it's not just the parents because it takes an entire village. Shirley, your mom is here? Excellent, excellent. All right, wonderful. Now we have full support here. Now, Morgan, you're going to be a, a junior deacon? Really? As is customary, we would review the vows. Uh, this time we have the shortened version because she's already gone through the, the, the long version of the vows. So for the interest of time, we'll do the shortened version of the vows. Usually, Elder English is the one usually asking individuals about their, their, their decision. Um, and today, he's the daddy. So he gets to stand next to his daughter. Um, Morgan, I have a question for you. Uh, three questions, rather. First, do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord? And do you desire to live your life in a saving relationship with him? How do you respond? Yeah. She says, yes, you saw it. Yeah. Amen, church? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Do you accept the teachings of the Bible as expressed in the, fun, in the statement of fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church? And do you pledge by God's grace to live your life in harmony with these teachings? How do you respond? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Amen. And lastly, do you desire to be baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ, to be accepted into the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and to support the church and its mission as a faithful steward by your personal effort, tithes, and offering? and a life of service. How do you respond? Yes. Amen. amen, church. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask if we can have a word of prayer over Morgan English as she makes this big decision, the best decision in her entire life. Let us pray together. Father, we just want to thank you today for the life of Morgan and for her family. Lord, you have led her to this point and allow for her to make that commitment, that decision to follow you as her Savior and Lord. Be with her, O oh God. Shield her from every attack of the enemy. And allow for her, as she continues to grow and mature in the faith, that she will use her giftedness, her talents, to glorify your name all the days of her life. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much, family. Sabbath again, church. Today is a uh, very happy day for the English family, for uh, the Ravage family, my wife's family, and uh, certainly for Tabernacle as a church family. And we certainly think that heaven is also rejoicing, right, for each soul that dedicates themselves to Christ. Uh, we shared with Morgan just now that today is uh, the continuation of a journey. It's not an end. Your baptism is not the goal. Heaven is the goal, right? And that uh, just as she is making this public declaration, we know that the devil has placed a target on her back. So now is the time that we need to continue to lift her up in prayer. 
She needs to continue engaged in her own personal prayer, and we just trust that the Holy Spirit will be able to lead her and give, a, give her some protection over the what will be, I, I guarantee, what will be trying days ahead. But we know that through faith in God that we will be able to uh, have faith that she will <clears throat> hear those words, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And just how we've had some members and family members that have passed away this week and recently, there's something about this Christian faith that we have this hope that death is even just a rest, right? And that ultimately we will be able to uh, uh, all join hands with those we love in the earth made new. So today we're happy for the decision that Morgan has made. Uh, we pray, I know that the children are upstairs, but we pray that it will be an example for even those that are coming behind her, that if she valued taking this step, that they too will do the same when Christ leads them to do it as well. So we thank you. We continue to solicit your, your prayers. And Morgan, I don't think she has anything else to say. She's kind of soft-spoken in that regard. But continue to lift her up in prayer. Amen. Can we say amen again, church? Amen. For those who would like to support Morgan in her walk with Christ, I'm going to invite you to please just get out of your seat. Come forward. She wants to be able to see you all. She wants, you, you can take some pictures, get this moment so that she can remember it. I know that her mom is videotaping every moment right now. Um, but we want you all to capture this moment uh, because it is a witness. It is a witness that she has given her life to Jesus Christ completely. And uh, before we have the baptism for Morgan, please note that every time this water is in the pool, that an invitation is sent out for those who have yet to commit their life to Jesus Christ. Don't look at the neighbor. That's you. If you have yet to commit your life to Jesus Christ or you desire to recommit your life to Jesus Christ, this is the moment. You don't have to wait. You don't even have to bring clothing here. We have everything you need. <laughs> so know that before the end of this service, we want you to be part of this baptism also. And if that is your desire, then be sure that it can be done today. You don't need to put it off for another day. Right, Morgan? That's right. Once she nods her head, it's so. So at this time, we're going to have a word of prayer, and then we'll go into the baptism service for Morgan English. Let's pray together. Father, we just want to thank you today for all that you have done. We thank you for Morgan and her willingness to follow you and make you her Lord and Savior. Lord, I pray in a special way that you will be with her, that you will bless her, that you will keep her, oh God, that you will strengthen her every single day. May her love for you deepen as she grows older. And Lord, as she gets older and she advances in her career, in her educational pursuits, we ask, oh God, for a special blessing that she will be the head and never the tail in all things. So bless your daughter. Keep her close to you, oh God. Be with the English family and allow for them to celebrate this moment and to be a great celebration in heaven right now. This we pray in Jesus' name. Let all of God's people say, amen, amen, amen. amen. Morgan, because of your willingness to follow Jesus Christ, because of your desire to make him your Lord and Savior, as a minister of the gospel, we now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the entire church says, Amen. 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 said the water is still wet <laughs> so if anyone has been moved by what you've seen here today if anyone has been thinking about what it is that they want to do with their spiritual life there's no reason why you can't go in the water today uh, where I'm happy I'm about to go get changed but he's happy to get back you know into his wet outfit I'm happy to get back into here if I need to as well we just want to let you know that today is no better than tomorrow to make your decision for Christ. So if that is your will and desire, let us know before the service is over and we'll make sure that we can have a conversation with you and get you in the water today. Amen. Amen. 